Hello, Southern Region Scouters. It's uh, great to be here with you today. Uh, I am uh, very proud of uh, the record in the Southern Region this past year. Uh, it's been a tremendous year. We were the epicenter, epicenter of uh, the membership standards, and man, have we made a turnaround. It's, uh, I'm very, very proud of uh, each and every one of you, and I want to highlight some of our top councils uh, across the region. Um, first of all, uh, we have uh, Mike Beer in uh, Lake Charles, Louisiana, and uh, he's posted a 9.3% increase in membership at the end of November, and uh, there's more to come. So Mike Beer and your staff, congratulations for a job well done. Next is uh, Ken Kircheville from uh, Meridian, Mississippi. Now, Meridian isn't quite over its goal yet, but I'm told that by the time this airs, they're going to be at, uh, over their goal. Now, they were right in the middle of the Deep South through this membership standards, and it's a great tribute to Ken and his team to make that complete turnaround. I'm very, very proud of uh, Meridian, Mississippi, and Ken and his staff. Next is uh, Chattanooga, Tennessee. Uh, I was there a few weeks ago, and I'm miss uh, visiting with uh, Scott Fossey and his team and had a really good uh, uh, give and take with the staff. And uh, at, at the end of about mid-December, they're 1.3% over year end already. And what a turnaround in Chattanooga. But also very important, and I wanna also mention a, a district executive I met there, Ryan uh, Negley, I'm sorry if I pronounced your name wrong, but he's posted a 21.5% increase. So Ryan, congratulations for just a tremendous job there. Also, uh, uh, Legree Clement in, in uh, Charleston, South Carolina. At mid-December, they've posted a 3.3% increase in membership. Uh, I was there a few months ago and visited with the staff, and uh, they've also done a, just a complete turnaround, and I'm very proud of the team in Charleston, South Carolina, uh, under the leadership of uh, Legree Clement. So uh, we uh, uh, expect that by the end of the by the time this is broadcast, the Southern Region will have recruited more Cub Scouts than, they did the, than we did the previous year in 2014. That's a huge, huge accomplishment for us, and uh, it, sets, it sets a bar for 2016 and uh, going forward to retain units, but also organize new ones and grow our membership. So uh, congratulations. Uh, I hope we have a terrific year in 2016. Uh, I'm, I'm very, very positive about our future. So I'm going to turn it over to Al Lambert, and he's going to discuss the uh, specifics of the uh, membership campaign. Thank you. Thanks for that introduction, and I'm excited to be with you here today to talk about our 2016 growth plan. Within that growth plan, we've got four focus areas that we're going to concentrate on for 2016. They are build an adventure, exploring explosion, a focus on units, and a new category called pilots. Let me take a minute and tell you a little bit about each of those programs. The first one is Build an Adventure, and that one you're going to be most familiar with. Build an Adventure focuses on our Cub Scout recruiting efforts across America, and what we've done over the last couple of years is identify some best methods and best practices that you can use in your councils and districts to serve and recruit more Cub Scouts. Many of you that have heard me talk have talked about how we wouldn't have any problems in the Boy Scouts if we didn't find a million more Cub Scouts. This program is designed at making sure that we recruit more and more Cubs every year. The second one is the Exploring Explosion. Over 200 councils are already signed up and, and participating in the webinars and programs that are part of our Exploring Explosion. We've got a great opportunity with our largest market the teenage market, and all the opportunities that exist out there in business around workforce development. When we bring, that, when we, when we bring together the, the expertise of our councils, the energy of our boards, our district volunteers, together on behalf of our teenagers, we're going to explode the number of opportunities that are available for our teenagers in businesses and in exploring programs across our districts. The third one is, is units. This is also one that's not new to any of us that have been doing this. We put our kids into packs, troops, and crews, posts, whatever it is. That's the unit that we organize around. And we know that in order to grow, we have to keep the units that we have, and we have to 
find new chartered partners to extend scouting in the community. So we're going to be launching programs that are focused on helping us retain the units that we have and to identify new chartered partners so that we can grow new units across districts and councils and everywhere across America. The fourth one is a fun category called pilots. Many of us have been talking about this category for, for a number of years. This is an, an avenue where we get to combine scouting's values and the things that we do real well in our core traditional programs with your markets and maybe a little bit of a non-traditional way to extend those values. While we don't have the rules and regulations and guidelines for this category set quite yet, when you see them, what we're going to do is try to figure out those programs that you're doing using scouting's programs in the community that may not be traditional, figure out how to get those up, take a look at them, and figure out which ones are replicable across the country so that we can serve more kids in neighborhoods and communities and, and families that we don't necessarily reach into right now. So that pilot one is, is real interesting and uh, look, look for some more guidelines here soon. How do we pull this all together? Well, we've, we're gonna introduce a new program called the National Growth Conference. Sometime the first couple of weeks, middle of April, we're gonna get everybody together in a grand web-based broadcast where we're gonna be able to share best practices, recognize some of you for the great job that you've done in 2015 and maybe call out some of you that have got some of these great innovative ideas that we're gonna look into. We're gonna learn about the hopes and dreams of your districts and your councils. We're gonna combine those together into this web-based program where we're gonna know where the Boy Scouts of America is going to go. We're going to ask you to set some goals in each one of these areas. An, an expectation for where you, what, what you want to do, how many kids you want to recruit, and maybe some aspirational goals, some dreams about where you want to go. We're going to pull those together by area, and at the end of that evening, we're going to know where the Boy Scouts of America is going to go when, it, when we talk about Cub Scouts, Explorers, Units, and maybe some of these fun new pilot programs. We're going to have an idea of how quickly we can bring our movement back to growth. So we've got some work to do right now. You're sitting at a staff planning conference or in a staff meeting right now, and there's a couple of things we need to do. We need to know our market. We need to set a plan to grow, especially around each one of these four areas. We need to make sure they link into your council's membership plan, and then we need to dream. We need to get excited about reaching more kids in more parts of our councils and we need to then set the plan and go. I'm going to introduce our chief scout executive right now, Mike Serbaugh, who is our greatest champion of growth. Mike's going to share with you some of his thoughts on where we're going in 2016. I thank you for this opportunity and I look forward to working with you as we grow our movement. Thanks. My fellow professionals, welcome to 2016. Today marks the day that together we change the course of the future for the Boy Scouts of America. It's been too long that we've seen year after year where our membership is not where we want it to be at year end. Where we want it to be is growing because we know that the program of scouting is transformational for young people. What each of you do is important. What each of you do matters. What each of you do this year matters the most. For 2016 is the year that we tell America, we're here, we're back, we're big, and we're not leaving. We're going to be in your face, we're going to be growing, because it's our time. Can you feel it? Can you feel the energy? It's across the country. We are lighting a fire and scouting, and you heard today about the four components of our growth plan for next year. This year in 2016, next year in 2017, the year after in 2018, we will be growing you will see a three-year explosion of scouting. You're going to be a part of that. I'm going to be a part of that. Together, we will grow this movement. Join me, and let's move forward in 2016 and make this a year we will never forget.